Hi, it's Maggie the Irish Gypsy here to bring you your February 2020 mid-month general reading. We are looking at the last half of February. Welcome to everyone here, newcomers and first timers. Welcome back followers and subscribers. Thanks for joining us here today. And thank you for those of you who do so much in support uh, of this channel. So this reading is for the earth sign of Taurus our beloved bulls for the last half of February. That's Taurus Sun, Taurus Moon, Taurus Rising. If your Venus is in Taurus or if you're cross-watching for a Taurian as well. But as most if not all of you know, we always suggest you watch all of your signs, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, uh, because it can provide more additional clarification or help kind of clarify things that are going on in your life potentially. Uh, lots of you watching and everyone has their own individual life story details. So watch your other videos if you know them. If this reading resonates for you or if any of the readings do and you are interested in reaching out for a more personal one-on-one -on -one reading with me, just click on the description link below. Uh, just click on that little arrow that pulls down the information uh, and you'll see contact info there as well. You can email me directly at Maggie, the number one McGuire at gmail.com. I'd be delighted to work with you. I can usually respond to initial inquiries within the same day or the first 24 hours with more information. And scheduling is pretty good too. I do readings full time. So I'm pretty diligent at working with your schedule and mine to get readings out to you or scheduled with you in as timely a fashion as possible. So if you're interested, send me an email and we will go from there. <clears throat> okay, Taurus. Let's see what the last half of February has in store for you. I have a little bit of a winter cold that's still lingering, so forgive any sniffling. Okay, Taurus. <clears throat> Taurus, we begin with Justice, followed by the Seven of Cups, the Six of Cups, followed by the Four of Wands. From the bottom of the deck, your overall energy is the Sun. <laughs> wow, Taurus. Taurus, it looks like there's some kind of event coming up or a reunion of some kind. And by reunion, it could mean coming back with one, coming back together with one particular person. Could be like a family reunion. Uh, and you're really, really happy about it. I mean, the last half of February, your overall energy is the sun. It's shining over everything. The sun represents uh, life, love, warmth, laughter, uh, previously restrictive energies, perhaps uh, lessening, lightening, or even vanishing completely. There's a strong social theme with the sun. It can represent getting out, going away, going on vacation, having something really illumined and clarified in a way that makes you feel very beautiful and positive. The sun is one of, if not the most powerful positive cards in the tarot, particularly in its ability to influence all the other cards in the deck, just like the actual real sun uh, affects and shines over and impacts everything when it comes out. So does the sun card in a spread. It can boost positive energy in surrounding cards and even lessen or sometimes negate challenging energies in the spread too, or greatly lessen them. So there's this lovely uplifted, it looks like you're really excited about something that's coming. It looks like around the middle of February, perhaps the third week, although timing is always fluid as I say, and never more so than a general reading, but around this time, because we're only looking at the last two weeks of February, maybe around the middle of the month or so, we have Justice and the Seven of Cups. <coughs> Justice is things being karmically balanced uh, in the perspective of God's spirit, your angels and guides, things evening out. Uh, in the upright position, it does imply that they are working out in your favor uh, in any work, business, negotiations, contracts, agreements, working out in your favor, but it means things balancing out and even evening out. 
it's the reap what you sow card, meaning that the outcome of something is entirely dependent on uh, the choices, actions, decisions, intent that you put into something. So minimal investment, minimal return, maximum investment, maximum return. If you go into something with as much transparency, honor, and integrity as possible, that's what's going to uh, you're going to reap the benefits of. So always a cautionary advice there to operate with as much honor and integrity as possible. <coughs> it's simplistically a card that repre represents the right thing, things being right, doing the right thing, or things working out in a right way based on what went into it. Cards like justice and judgment can imply that the results of something something are based on actions that, and decisions that went before it. So what clarifies it is the Seven of Cups, which is a very dreamy, illusionary card. Cups is governed by the element of water, which in the tarot governs our heart space, emotions, feelings, relationships. Uh, the Seven of Cups is kind of a dreamy card in that every one of these Seven Cups is full of something beautiful, perfect, and what they actually represent is potential, the possibility of something. It can be a somewhat ungrounded, unrealistic energy, keeping your head kind of in the clouds, building castles in the sky. Each one of what these cups represent is realizable if you choose it and put the work into achieving it. And it can also uh, be a card that represents thinking in the most positive way possible of how beautifully and how perfectly a situation or relationship or something going on with you is going to work out. Uh, kind of imagining all the best ways something can work out, which I, I, I feel like is happening here. I feel like at least in the middle and probably the first half of February, maybe even back in January, it, it feels like this energy is about a lead up to something. Like there's a sense of anticipatory excitement because there's some kind of event or reconciliation or reunion or something coming up. Again, it could be a personal reunion, a family reunion, a coming back together with a love, with a, a person, people that you have a historical connection with. And the time period, the short time period leading up to it, you're just sort of walking around in this happy cloud kind of, oh, it's going to be like this and that. And, and it's just this lovely anticipatory energy. Because then the next two cards, which we're looking at the last week or towards the end of February, possibly the beginning of March, we have the Six of Cups clarified by the Four of Wands. I mean, it's just a lovely energy. So the Six of Cups <coughs> is a card that traditionally represents the past or a, a, a historical connection to the past. It points to the past. It can represent, you know, the energy that we had uh, when we were children, which might kind of go along with the Seven of Cups, kind of this everything's beautiful, everything is in its place, we're very carefree, we don't carry the same kind of burdens and concerns and worries that we do, what often do when we're adults. It's a card that represents family, parents, roots of origin, where you grew up, old loves, flames, friends from the past. It can be the long ago past like childhood or just, you know, people, places, situations that you have a long historical connection with. Now what clarifies it, it's also one of, <coughs> considered one of the soulmate cards. Soulmate could be romantic or just a, a, a kindred spirit best friend, connections from the past. Now clarifying this <laughs> is the Four of Wands, which is another beautiful card and implies social connections and social events, particularly around friends and family. It's a card that can, <coughs> I, on a simplistic, almost textbook basis, the Four of Wands can represent that excitement, that building anticipation, that undercurrent of, of excited energy when you're preparing for something. It could be like a wedding, an anniversary, a reunion, a get together, you know, something formal or something casual. Uh, also with people that you have a historical connection with because this is also one of the happy home, happy emotional stability cards, but it often points to an event, a social event where people are getting together uh, to celebrate something or just to kind of reconnect with each other uh, and reconnect with that simple joy and gratitude that we feel when we're around people we know, people we have that history with, who that we love and appreciate and vice versa. It's also a card that rep can represent an unexpected blessing or happy surprise. And it's not a card of an indeterminate future either. When the Four of Wands comes up in that sense, which I feel like it does, 
the unexpected blessing and happy surprise is usually coming within like a two to three week period. So again, there's a sense of anticipatory excitement about a reunion with a person, a group of people, you know, coming together. You might be traveling to see them. They might be traveling to see you. Um, I feel like there perhaps has been some distance and time between the two of you. So this is kind of occurring towards the end of February, beginning of March, or it's coming up really soon. But this time leading up to it is just very, <clears throat> it's very happy and eager and really looking forward to it. Let's just pull one more card uh, just because I want to see. Let's clarify this sun, this four of wands. What is this about? <clears throat> <laughs> it's about the three of cups the party card another card that represents getting out having a good time socializing going to a party drinking dancing but it's it's also about connections it's also about the people that you, you you're with these are people that you know that you love that you like that you appreciate that get you best friends kindred spirits brotherhood sisterhood you have this connection it's your tribe positive social connections in the community very high social th energy uh, to this card so <laughs> have a good time Taurus because it feels like a lot of you are really really looking forward to this again reunion event party and I feel like not only is it I feel like not only is it going to be a beautiful joyful event or coming back together again or reconnecting but I do feel like for some of you there will be some unexpected surprises and blessings for you in this uh, lovely reading Taurus. There's not really much else to say about it. Kind of makes me wish I was a Taurus, but I'm not. So Taurus, I hope this resonated for every single person watching it. Uh, and I hope it brought some, uh, I don't know about some insight, uh, but maybe some insight and definitely uh, underscoring those of you that are having this kind of build up uh, to whatever this is. If this reading resonated with you and uh, or if the, any of the readings do and you are interested in a personal one-on-one -on -one reading with me if there's something you'd like to take a deeper look at uh, just click on the description link below and you'll see my contact info. You can email me, <coughs> excuse me, directly at Maggie, the number one McGuire at gmail.com. I would be most happy to work with you. I do offer a wide variety of readings in all the main areas of life. So Taurus, I will see you all in a couple of weeks for the March 2020 uh, general readings. Until then, as always, I wish you much joy, love, peace, and happiness. Uh, and I hope to see you back here again soon. Take care. Bye-bye.